Can you join in our entrance hymn? Praise God, praise God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the company of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, we offer this Holy Christ celebration for your intentions to be fulfilled. 
and today's topic is immaculate mary empowered to overcome the sloth the desire of sloth kills him his hands refuses to labor as what says proverbs chapter 21 verse 25 we can see in the scripture how mary puts her efforts for god given mission from the birth of Je- from the birth of jesus to to the death of jesus we can also do all things through god through the help of mary who strengthens us in all our works mary was so successful in god given work so must also we need to imitate her in all our doings so let us pray to god and ask mother smith's help to overcome this law and also dear brothers and sisters let us acknowledge our losses in the past and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries in worthy manner i can first almighty god and to you my brothers and sisters that i have gravely sinned in my thoughts and my words in what i have done and what i have failed to do through my fault through my fault through my most grievous fault therefore i ask blessed mary of the virgin all the angels and saints and to you my brothers and sisters to pray for me to the lord our god May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. let us pray grant lord god that we your servants may rejoice in unfailing health of mind and body and through the glorious intercession of blessed virgin mary may we be set free from present sorrow and come to enjoy eternal happiness through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with the unity of the holy spirit one god forever and ever A reading from the first letter of St Paul to the Corinthians People must think of us as Christ's servant stewards entrusted with the mysteries of God What is expected of stewards is that each one should be found worthy of his trust not that it makes the slightest difference to me whether you or indeed any human tribunal find me worthy or not i will not even pass judgment on myself true my conscience does not reproach me at all but that does not prove that i am acquitted The Lord alone is my judge. 
there must be no passing of premature judgment. Leave that until the Lord comes. He will light up all that is hidden in the dark and reveal the secret intentions of men's hearts. Then will be the time for each one to have whatever he deserves from God. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. For the psalm are responses, the salvation of the just comes from the Lord. The salvation of the just comes from the together the salvation of the just comes from the lord if you trust in the lord and do good then you will live in the land and be secure if you find your delight in the lord he will grant your heart's desire response the salvation of the just comes from the Lord. Commit your life to the Lord. Trust in Him and He will act. So that your justice breaks forth like the light, your cause like the noonday sun. Response the salvation of the just comes from the Lord. Then turn away from evil and do good, and you shall have a home forever. For the Lord loves justice, and he will never forsake his friends. Response the salvation of the just comes from the Lord. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. They are stronghold in times of distress. The Lord helps them and delivers them and saves them, for their refuge is in Him. Response the salvation of the just comes from the Lord. Kindly stand. of the world says the Lord anyone who follows me will have the light of life Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. the Lord be with you A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory be to you, O Lord. The Pharisees and scribes said to Jesus, John's disciples are always fasting and saying prayers, and the disciples of the Pharisees too. But yours go on eating and drinking. Jesus replied, Surely you cannot make the bridegroom's attendance fast while the bridegroom is still with them. But the time will come, the time for the bridegroom to be taken away from them. That will be the time when they will fast. He also 
told them this parable. No one tears a piece from a new clock to put it on a old clock. If he does, not only will he have torn the new one, but the piece taken from the new will not match the old. And nobody puts a new wine into a old skins. If he does, the new skins will burst the, the skins and then run out. And the skins will be lost. New wine must be put in new into fresh skins. And nobody who has been drinking old wine wants new. The world is good, he says. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. My brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, when I was in the school, one December, my mother told us, dear children, tomorrow I'm going to get my salary and I plan to go to the market and buy things so that we can prepare sweets and have a good Christmas. It was a very exciting news and we were looking forward to have a wonderful Christmas. The following day, when I came back from the school, I saw my mother and she looked sad. I told her, Mommy, what happened? And she said to me, I went to the market. I tried to buy things, but a man came and he grabbed my purse and he disappeared into the crowd. I was robbed of my money. Dear friends, it really broke my heart that as we were looking forward to celebrating a beautiful and wonderful Christmas which would bring all of us together, here we were looking sad because somebody had just taken it away from us. Somebody had robbed us of our celebration. Dear friends, it was very sad to see tears in my mother's eyes, to know that her hard-earned money was taken away just like that, grabbed out of her hand. Dear friends, this is reality of life where we see today that people want to just grab things for themselves. They just want to take things for themselves and they do not see the consequence of this greed of theirs. Well, my mother told us, I forgive that man. Probably he needed the money more than we did and we will never know the truth. But the fact remains, dear friends, that today there are so many people who may not need so much, but they will go all out to take what is not theirs. And this is because of greed. This vice of greed makes us make money as the center of our life. This vice of greed makes everything that is material as important. And people who are after money and possession and make that as the center of their life are ready to go to any extent. They are not bothered what it does to other people. They are not bothered how it affects other people's life. They just want to grab it for themselves. In the world that we live in today, we are seeing that the world is going after things for itself. We just want to grab. We look at some of the builders. All they have in their mind is, where is a good place? Which is a good plot? What can I do with it? I will take it. I will cut down trees. I will build big buildings. I will make money. Doesn't matter how it affects the environment. Doesn't matter what it does to the poor people. But I want to grab this piece of land at any cost. Dear friends, 
We see people today who want to grab onto power. Doesn't matter how much they have to pay for it. Doesn't matter the relationships that they have to let go. But this is what I need and I'm going to grab onto it. My dear brothers and sisters, today even hospitals, even hospitals want to just grab money from people who are struggling, from people who are sick. They are not bothered. Many of them are not bothered what it does to the people. The bills are huge. Well, dear friends, this pandemic has exposed this attitude of ours. That even in times of most difficult need, when people are dying, when people are struggling, there are people out there just wanting to grab as much as they can. Dear friends, it broke my heart to hear a news of a doctor who took advantage of this COVID situation and who sold the organs of more than 100 patients. They were not sick, but he made it to appear as though they were. And he fed their body to crocodiles. Dear friends, this is what we have come down to. We just want to grab from people and we want to grow richer day by day at the expense of other. This is sin. And where are we going? Look at the environment and nature. We want to go on and on by exploiting this environment. And so it is rightly said, when you have covered every piece of earth with cement, when you have cut down trees and built the tallest of all buildings, when you have destroyed all fields in the name of development, when you have taken away all the forests in the name of development, then you will realize that cement is not what you can eat, that money is not what you can eat, that these buildings are not what will fill your bellies. Well, my dear friends, we have become people who want to grab and grab. And that is why greed, dear friends, is a vice, is a sin. Because it leads to robberies, it leads to selfishness, it leads to cheating, and sometimes even murder. Well, dear friends, people put their hard-earned money in banks. And what happens? What do we see? We see that in their greed, some people rob these poor people of their money. Banks close down and people struggle. Dear friends, what does the Bible tell us about money? What does the Bible teach us about greed? Dear friends, Jesus says, use money to make friends. Which means by this he is telling us that money is not bad. But don't make it the center of your life. In the time of Jesus, there were many women, there were many people who gave money so that it could be used for the poor and for his ministry. My dear friends, what do we see in the life of Jesus? Judas. Judas was his disciple. And Judas was in charge of money. He used to rob money from the funds. He was in the mood, he was always ready to grab. He wanted more. And what happened? In his greed to grab more, he let go of Jesus. In his greed for money, he sold Jesus for 30 pieces of silver. The scripture says about a parable that a man, when he finds wealth, or he finds a precious pearl, he sells everything to own that land where the wealth is or the pearl. But Judas, in spite of having found the wealth, the greatest treasure, sold sold Jesus for 30 pieces of silver. And so, my dear friends, grabbing is at the heart of this vice called greed. Grabbing from people at the expense of their joy and happiness. And so, if we want to change our world, if we want to live a wonderful life, we have to ask ourselves, is it right to grab onto things? Dear friends, Jesus tells us, store up treasures in heaven. Store up treasures in heaven. By which he is asking us 
to give because it is in giving that we receive it is in giving that we receive and so the antidote for greed which leads us to grab things the antidote is to give give when people need and this is charity the antidote to greed is charity in which we are called to share with the other person we see in the God in the in the Bible in the Bible when Jesus had so many people listening to him he feels compassionate for them he's compassionate and so he wants to give them something to eat but if the boy who had the fish and the bread just a couple of them had become selfish and decided this is for me these many people 5,000 people would not have been fed but here we see the spirituality of abundance that it is in giving that we receive and that is what the boy did and we see the beautiful miracle that Jesus multiplied the bread and fish and the crowd ate and were happy dear friends we are called to be people who give because on the last day our judgment will not be on how much money we have our judgment will not be uh, on how much we possess our judgment will not depend on how wonderful I have been our judgment will be depend upon how much we have loved it will depend upon how much we have given for on the last day Jesus will ask us I was hungry did you give me to eat I was thirsty did you give me to drink I was naked did you cover me I was in the hospital did you come to visit me we are called to be selfless we are called to give we know the story of how when Mother Teresa took some rice to a family which had not eaten for days the woman took that rice went to the neighboring house and gave half the rice to that woman and when she was asked by mother why did you do that where did you go she told her mother there is this family which does not have food they were hungry like we were you brought food to us you did not know about that woman and so I decided to share with the other person with that woman dear friends when we do that it is then that the kingdom of God will be amongst us we look at Mary when Mary was at the wedding feast of Cana with Jesus and his disciples she saw the needs of that couple and she went to Jesus and she told him about that Jesus tells her woman my hour has not come and but Mary knows very well that if she pushes Jesus to perform his first miracle he will begin his ministry but that will also mean that he will be crucified much early but Mary is ready to share Jesus with the world she is not a mother who is going to hold on to this wonderful gift Mary gave Jesus to the world and that is why she empowers us to be people who are loving and who are charitable and who give to other people let us begin by teaching our own children in our homes to give dear friends if there are two children sometimes parents bring two chocolates but if there are two children it is best to get one chocolate and share it amongst the children and amongst you both too because if there are four members it is important that the children know that the chocolate or anything in the house is not just for me this is for everyone just as I want to enjoy so too others should charity begins at home we need to teach our children to share it is in sharing that they learn to become people who are Christians my dear friends during this pandemic while many other people closed their doors it was a simple people who gave of their hard-earned money when there were hospitals who are making big money on the sickness of people it were ordinary simple people even youngsters who dug into their pockets and who shared with those who were struggling there were there was money which was collected by various people in the name of the poor but it was a simple and ordinary who reached out dear friends this is the spirituality of abundance Francis of Assisi says it is in giving that we receive and so 
during this Eucharist, let us pray. Lord, please take this greed out of my hand, out of my heart. Lord, teach me not to grab. Lord, teach me to give as you gave of your life. You gave us such a wonderful mother who teaches us charity, who teaches us to give. My dear friends, let us make this world beautiful by becoming people who give, by becoming people who share. For this grace, let us pray during this Eucharist. Kindly join in our offertory hymn, Just a Little Bread and Wine. Comes the time we bring to you Just a little bread and wine, my Lord All we say and all we do Just a little bread and wine Morning time, a time for prayer Just a little bread and wine, my Lord Bread we take, we break and share just a little bread and wine Food and drink to you, O Christ Just a little bread and wine, my Lord To the Father sacrifice Just a little bread and wine Comes the time we give to you Just a little bread and wine, my Lord Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May, may the Lord, Lord accept the sacrifice, the sacrifice at your hands, hands for, for the praise and glory of his name, name for, for our good, good and for the good, good of all his holy church. church. Receive, O Lord, we ask the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings that through the intercession of Blessed Mary, the mother of your son. No petition may go unanswered. No request may be made in vain through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise, bless and glorify your name in a veneration of the Blessed Ever-Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she considered your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, threw forth into the world the eternal life, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominion, sador, and power stumble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven, and the blessed seraphim, worship together with exaltation. May our voice we pray join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim.
you are indeed holy o lord the font of all holiness make holy therefore the gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our lord jesus christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly to his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and everlasting covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith when we eat the bread and we drink the cup we proclaim your death o lord until you come again therefore as we celebrate the memory of his death and the resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in our presence and minister to you humbly we pray that for taking up the body and bread of Christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit remember lord your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity the good francis our pope also all graces of our bishop and all the bishops and the clergy Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy welcome them in the light of your face have mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god saint joseph our most chaste spouse with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages we may merit to be quiet in our life may praise and glorify you through your son jesus christ through him and with him and in him o god almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. For the Savior's command found by his divine teaching we dare to say Our Father who art in, in heaven hallowed be thy name, name. Thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we wait the blessed hope on the coming of our savior jesus christ for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever lord jesus christ who said to the apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who lives and reigns forever and ever amen The peace of the Lord be with you always and, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who call to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Now we make a prayer in order to receive the Lord spiritually. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. As we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech O Lord your mercy that we who rejoice in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary may by imitating her serve worthily the mysteries of our redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Navina prayer to Our Lady of Health of Belankani. O oh, Most Holy Virgin, you were chosen to be the mother of Jesus. Permit me, your devoted client, to praise you for this iniquity privilege. O oh, tender mother, comfortress of the afflicted, grant me the special protection 
which you have promised to those who enrate you relying on the infinite mercies of your divine son trusting on his promises that those who ask would receive and penetrate with confidence in your powerful intercession i most humbly entreat you to obtain for me the favors which i petition for in this novena if it is the holy will of god or else whatever grace i am most to stand in need of let us pray for a personal needs let us also make thanksgiving prayers in a special way we pray for all our community members families friends and relatives for the good health and comfort for the sick and suffering in the hospitals and in our homes for peace and understanding in the families for a happy settlement in marriage for vocation to the priesthood and religious life for accommodation for shelter relief to the poor and marginalized for the gift of children for safe confinement for success in studies for employment for promotions for cure from drugs alcoholism and other addictions let us also in a special way pray to the lord that so that he may protect us and heal us from this covid-19 pandemic in veneration of the love and joy with which your heart was replenished when the word was made flesh in your womb i offer you the sentiments of my heart hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen 
Hail Mary full of grace the Lord is with thee blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb Jesus Holy Mary mother of God pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen O mother of God accept these salutations in union with the veneration with which the angel Gabriel first hailed you full of grace I wish most sincerely that these may become so many gems in the crown of your celestial glory Mother Mary to your keeping soul and body we can find toiling resting walking sleeping be ever at our side cares that vex us joys that please us life and death we trust in you you make yours all for jesus and for all eternity amen our final hymn as i kneel before you <laughs> 